welcome back to another episode. It's been rainy and it's been windy the last few days on vacation, but we can't right, control the weather. Episode. We made the best of it. We caught some conch, we caught some bonefish. We even scooped up some crabs on the beach for fun. Franker and John were devouring them last night. Anyhow, we're at the fuel dock now. It is 7.75 a gallon. We, uh, we were due for some fuel, so we haven't got it yet. We burned almost 500 gallons so far getting here and having fun uh, diving in the rector one day and then doing that one spearfish trip. But today's a different day. We got Daniel, we got John, we got Charlie, we got Frank and Sarah's behind the camera. It is time to roll. We're gonna keep pumping fuel till we run out of money and uh, we'll see you guys out there soon. We didn't get all the gas, did we? Okay, okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Hey, Charlie, what do you got? Uh, that hurt. Thirty-six hundred and fifty-four dollars. That's good though. We spit it up. Franker did it. Los Cayos beer. You two paid for this. Keep watching, people. That wasn't too bad. Keep Click yeah. like and subscribe to keep filling up our fuel S tanks. Smash that like button. Smash the stands like button. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. So far. And stay tuned for only stands. the run you guys we're going spear fishing we want hogfish for dinner and hopefully get some more conch and uh whatever else we can capture roger that frank's What's old faithful dude we're going old school with the regular old eight foot pole spear been in the family about i don't know 25 years we got daniel the man here What's up? daniel's up, man. he's got a good sense of humor he's not acting quite stupid yet <laughs> but look at his pants man oh my god this is my by blending in my camo. Actually, Charlie is, uh, I wouldn't say world famous, but he's definitely more than local famous. World, tra world traveled. He yeah. is world traveled. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dog, good boy. Good boy, what you want, dog? <laughs> Look at this coming, dog. Show the camera, baby. <laughs> yeah, dog, a nice one. We eating good now, sucker? <laughs> Big old male, huh? <laughs> yeah, dog. Look at that sucker. We eating good, boy. Good shooting. Very nice, Charlie. A little patience, a little patience pays off. Practice and patience. That's the one we wanted. That's one right there. Let's get him in the boat nice and safe. Good job. I got one. It'll taste good. Poison! Here comes the poison! 
Alright, here we go, Nicholas. Doggy dog. We put it on him today. We make it up for another day. That's what happens when you get caged up inside for three days of rain. Sarah's got a conk got a right over there. Conk in 30 feet. Right over on this side's conk. We're gonna see how strong Gorilla Tape is. Um, Daniel was a very bad boy, and he broke on a very nice spear on a big fish that he shouldn't have shot, and he did. And then Sarah was, he was a Franker's old classic spear, it's been around a long time, got a lot of fish, but uh, the stainless steel adapter there kind of broke free, so we're gonna tape this thing up here and see if it'll work. Hey, maybe Sarah will do better with the sheep's nest than otherwise. <laughs> so. You know, that's what makes a good captain, honestly, improvising. Improvise. You know, it's like, this is what we got today. So let's keep working. A nice spear to match the Freeman, right? <laughs> ah, here we go. Tape works and hogs to you guys on the climb. There <sighs> almost had another one, but it came up. I lost some dog, a big one. Big hogs, dog, big hogs. <laughs> I'm about to try. I gotta get up the boat. <laughs> trying to kill me. I can barely swim, but we're getting them big hogs. Look now. at that dude. That's a honker. <sighs> hey, they wanted to pull you out of the game. <laughs> They're trying to take me out. I'm hot. You don't take me out when I'm hot. That's right. Charlie, save my life. We're putting Charlie in for support. He's reborn a killer. Hey man, that's a really good I've fish. Been, I've been working on some breathing techniques, courtesy of Charlie. How do you do them? Well, we're doing some fire breathing and some other hot stuff. Auxilla made a run for it. We didn't stand a chance. He dusted us. That's right. You got his friend, though. <laughs> got him? Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Sarah, tell the truth now. What happened when we spearfished together? Uh, just... It, no, I'm not talking. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah says she spots the fish. Say, say what I, you just told me. I heard her. He go, Nick's a butthole. He goes down right in front of me. Everyone I see, he shoots. It's just like when you go fishing with Nick. He casts over top of you. He has to be the first one there. No one else gets to have a turn. How many have you speared today, Nick? Five and a half. Because you swam in front of everyone and dusted us. Sarah, you missed rude. a lot of them. You're being rude. We can't trust you to shoot him anymore, Sarah. It's we're over hungry. with. We're, 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 we're at a lunch meet. <laughs> Nick is... It, uh, 
I mean, wait, <laughs> why take the superstar out of the game? Get him back in the game. Yeah, get back in. Well, she is the diver, but her sharpshooting's up today. I had a broken spear, first off. <laughs> and one other hog, John Rose. Over the fish box. We gotta play the cry baby, so. No, we're doing fine. I mean, oh, yeah, we're doing really good, you guys. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one right there. Bring in the meat. I don't know about that, but. Good job, Daniel, son. There you go, nice. Right through the hand. I wonder where the permit is. Nice one, man. Show me that sucker. Oh boy, oh boy. Nice one. We'll take that. Really good. My watch says I went up and down. I did 21 dives, so I got two hogfish and one conch. So three dives were successful. <laughs> 42 feet was the deepest dive. And we're gonna clean this conch up boat here. We're gonna go try to catch some more conch. I think we're gonna go find some more and we wanna make some fresh conchs out on the boat. Had an absolute crush on the hogfish today. Uh, Frank was driving, put us on him and all that. So Sarah's gonna help hold it. It's probably easier on the dock, but we ain't on the dock. We're on vacation, we're trying to have fun. Charlie and Daniel are still in, so we will get this conch out of this shell and then go round up a few more conch hopefully and make a really nice fresh Bahamian conch salad. So step one, put a hole in there. Step two, get a knife you don't really care about. Cut it just like that. And all you're doing is cutting the snail out of there where he loops on it. And you gotta reach in there and grab his uh, little foot. And if you gotta cut good and right, it should pull right out. Ta-da! Look at that. It good at it. Oh, thanks, sweetie. <laughs> Alrighty, can I throw this over? Uh, wish you could take shells home, but you Yeah, can. they changed the rules. I used to be able to bring them home years ago, but now we can't really do that. So let's uh, get rid of the conch shell and let's uh, start trimming him up. So first things first, we don't really need his foot. I'm gonna use a different knife actually that's a little bit sharper because that one is got a little beat up here. But So we're gonna cut his foot off just like that. That's his foot. That's what I crawl along the ocean floor with. Bye bye foot. And then we just want to skin a lot of this off here. And this is the pistol, you guys. That is the reproductive organ, I believe, for conch. Go ahead and eat that. A little slurp. Nope. Frank would eat it though. And that is really good bait there too, but we're not gonna save it. And that's conch slime. Conch slime is really hard to get off your skin, your shirt, your clothes. Ugh, it's nasty. But we're just gonna cut all this brown stuff up here and the majority of uh, the skin and all that stuff. And conch is a Bahamian tradition, so bye-bye. He was jumping across the bottom, 33 feet deep, like running. He was crawling, and you could see, you could see the little, he had a little trail there, it was like a snail trail there behind him where he was going through the uh, sand there, you know? We just saw that and then Sarah went down and dove down and caught him. And this is what we'll do next. So we're just gonna cut all the skin off here. Just like that, you know, you don't want to cut too much of the meat, the white stuff, but we got to get all that brown off. So we're going to keep doing this, and we'll show you the finished product here in about, probably about five minutes, right guys? We'll be right back. We're on a conch mission. We want conch. We want conchzilla. Conchzilla. We got hogzilla, now we want conchzilla. Go get them conch, hey. sassy. Turn the pink conch Boy, you think we're going to get any conchs over here? We already got the conks, man. I have eaten more conch in this last week than I've eaten in a long time. Oh, yeah. And mostly good stuff, salad, making ceviche out of it, man. So much better than fried, but fried fried food's good. Fried food tastes good. <laughs> he got three on the first drive. Daniel's son. Good job. What time do you guys go? We're gonna have our limit. John, you better go catch a conch quick.
That's he's sinking with all the conks. A little conk honey hole. Oh, that's a big one there. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. That is a nice conk there, boy. So we cleaned two conks, you guys, and I split them in half and I cut the skin off. It just makes it a little bit easier, I found out, but we got all these meat right here. So four pieces total. And uh, we're gonna dice up some peppers now. Charlie's doing some, John's doing some. We got an onion there, some tomatoes, some limes, and we're gonna have some very good conch salad here in the Bahamas. And this could be the freshest conch salad in the world. Catch it, clean it, and eat it within a few minutes. We're gonna let it soak in the lime juice at least 15 minutes, they say, and you can wait longer, but minimum 15 minutes to help kind of cook it. And uh, we're gonna cook this, and we're gonna run and do some fishing this afternoon. Great day diving, and uh, I can't wait to eat it. I know everyone's hungry. Cooler, let her cool off. Yeah, let's throw her in there. That's probably a good idea. Let's put her in the Yeti. There you go, Park. I think we're safe. Yeah, we'll check back in here about 15 minutes, right, Charlie? 20 minutes? I'll give you about 15, 20 minutes. That sounds reasonable. The Peppa Tings! The Peppa Tings spilled all over my boat, the Peppa! Good job, guys. Alright. Sealed up, nice and cold. Sassy, what we got in there? One hogfish. Hogfish crush, huh? Let's see how many we got. We lost count. Yeah. We don't even know. One. Oops. An absolute crush pack here. Holy moly. Sassy Sarah. Dana, did you help organize this photo op? Oh, yeah. Good job. Holy moly. That's a spread. Yeah, boy. Right. Sassy, the first bite's yours. Since I got the conch in 33 feet deep, the first conch of the day. Yeah. Is this as good as it smells? Conky. Conky? Conch, no, conch solid. It's good. Y'all come get in on this action. Tell us what you think. Conch, conch. You're getting a dip in cheese. He's salt. He's doing a... Oh, yeah. Salt. You know what I could use, Sarah? Some pepper, too. Yeah. Daniel, let us know what you think. Down. Have you ever had fresh conch salad, Daniel? Not this fresh. I've had conch salad. But you can't beat. Literally caught minutes ago. Delicious. Oh, John's gonna salt it up for us. I thought we did that. I told her to be good with pepper too. To pepper I mean, you're supposed to have hot sauce with conch salad, but I don't know what we're gonna do without it. There is a bottle so, of hot sauce. There, there. Do we want some pepper in there? A little smidge? Sarah doesn't want any. There you go, perfect. There you go, perfect. I'm getting a bite of this. Frager, come try this stuff out. I'm gonna get the bottle of hot sauce first, dog. See, that's oh, way you do have hot sauce. Yeah, put that where it falls in the water. <laughs> All right. Chip We're gonna try the potato chip dip for the dip. The conch salad, Cape Cod potato chip going down. I don't get no fresher, and that's an island thing out here. Cause Franker's just an island boy. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it. Oh, he's chasing it down with a little hot sauce. That's how you do it. <laughs> Savage in the Bahamas, boy. Whoa! <laughs> that's really good, man. Thanks for cutting that up. What do you think, Sean? I think it was a lot of fun. Got some new cotton salad, and we're going fishing. That's right. We're gonna run aground. Yeah, boy. Oh, there's a big old coral head over there. We gotta so move this boat before you get run over. I gotta get one more bite of this stuff. Ooh, the bigger one right there. Dude, that was good. Like, uh, not bad. Ooh. Big old coral head, you guys gotta pay close attention. I wonder whose blood that is.
Get him, Dal. No mercy. Get that fish, whatever it is. There it is. Oh. Could be a fish of the day. Here we go, get caught. What is it? Is that a grouper or a mutton? Oh, mutton. dog! Yeah! Nice mutton. Nice, nice mutton. mutton. You can probably lift him as 80 pounds. Yeah, dog! Yeah! Dog. What's so funny now? Frank the Tank, dog! Yeah, boys! <laughs> nice, nice mutton snapper. Here we go. Good job, Frank. Good job. Right on, man. Take that where we should have been all day. <laughs> no, you didn't. I know. Frank, what you got on, dog? I don't know, dog. He about whooped the old dude's booty. Is it a jack or a big mutton? Oh, another big mutton dog! Big old mutton dog! We on the muttons now, we're doing some mutton drifting. That's a lunker there. Come on up there. Yeah, dog, get him. Oh yeah, nice one. Ooh, right in the lip. That's the only way Franker hooks them, dog. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dog. Good job, Franker. One on Bahamian muttons now. Good job, dog. Logging I'm done, Charlie. Them. This is yours. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Look at the sun on this fish, man. Gorgeous. Nice mutton. Thank you, Nick. Good job. It's a great trip, man. Oh, yeah. I know you got him. You got him. Keep getting him. One crank at a time. Big mutton on. Big mutton on. <laughs> Get him, Sarah. Come on, One crank sure at a time. Hey, the back. Get him, Sassy. Get him. Got him. Tail. There you go. There you go. There you go. Keep getting them. Trying to catch some late afternoon muttons. Mix it up a little bit, guys. We want the mutton snappers. Hitting that squid, huh? Going for it. There it's all go. about that squid bite. Keep getting them, Sarah. How deep is it here? 100 oh, feet. God. Sir, Frank, you're gonna have to lead her up her fish. Yep. Oh, you got a little grouper on yours, John. There you go, first. John, yeah, dog. Look at that sucker. Look at that one. <whistles> Sassy, you got a big mutton or what? It better not be a little grouper. What is it? We got color. We got color. What do you think it is, dog? Oh, oh yeah, nice yeah. mutton snapper. Nice mutton. Let Frank have all the fun. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, nice mutton snapper. Biggest one yet. Shoot, dog, it ain't the biggest mine. Yeah, it is. It's bigger. No way, doggy. I'll pick it up there. Look at that one. Nice job, Sarah. You know. Now you've caught some big muttons. Yes. I don't really care to catch any more. <laughs> you proved your point. Oh God. Oh, oh Charlie. Oh, Charlie's got on. a big mutton. Come We're on. on a mutton blitz, you guys. Come on. Come We're on a mutton blitz. Look at that VMC, piled in the corner right there. Mm. Holy muttons are biting. This is a button. Oh, it's gotta be a mutton. That's what that's for the biting out here, they're hitting. Oh yeah, we got color. Big mutton snapper, I think. Looks like a big mutton down there. Hers is bigger? Sarah caught a bigger one on Franker. But it's Charlie could beat them all. <laughs> Charlie could beat them all right here. Let's see, is it a mutton or a jack? jack. Please don't be a jack. Oh, it looks like a mutton to me. What we got? Ah, oh, it's a jack. Oh, God. Charlie, the jacks have got your name today. I need a break from these jacks. We're done here. I'm exhausted. Now, one more drift, you guys. Oh. Let's go up Charlie again. Oh, ah, what a letdown. Why are they so strong? <laughs> what you got, Charlie? Mutton snapper? Oh, man, I hope it's a mutton snapper because I can't take another jack. You could not catch another jack. I That's not possible. That's not possible. It's got to be a mutton. It's got to be a mutton. I see color, but I can't tell what it is yet. Ugh. Give us another big mutton. We can feed everybody. We can make new friends. Oh, nice mutton, Charlie. There you go. Pretty work. Oh yeah, swing that sucker right in there. Ugh. Yeah, boy. Nice job. Damn. Yeah, boy. I was, I was about due for that. You were due the for jacks that. Were, the jacks were. You, you put your time on with the jacks. Late afternoon there. <laughs>
Pretty work. Frank gave me the mojo. Give me the mojo. You know it, doggy. Now Frank's cutting bait. He caught his two. He said, I'm done. I'm helping my teammates, man. This is team effort. We want everybody to succeed here, even though I probably out fish them most of the time. <laughs> We're marking them good, you guys. We got good marks right here, you guys, right on the bottom there. Them are mutton marks. That's a big one there. Well, that's a real one. Help me get no, you can get them. You get them. You get them, Sarah. Put them around your hip. That's a big one. That's a big one there. That could be a 15 pounder. Get him, Sassy. Oh, no. Pull, 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 pull. He's on there. I think he's going to the bottom. Did he break you off? I broke you off. Thank God. Failed. Dana's going to have redemption. I'm too short. Sarah said she was too short up here midship. We should have put it in the back of the boat. I think Dan's got on a big mutton. Not enough Hopefully leverage for short sassy Sarah. Keep going, Daniel. One crank at a time. There you go. <laughs> I smell bacon. Because you're getting, getting the pork. Oh, you got him now. Here it comes. Nice mutton. Nice mutton. Here it comes. Yeah, dog. Jason Laz. Nice yeah, mutton snapper. Good job, food. Daniel. Oh, yeah, I did get you yeah, last. It's, right. yep. it's a group effort. Hey man, on a jig head. Nice. You think you can swing him? Oh yeah. Lower your ratchet, perfect. Nice job. Fatty. Yeah, boy. Hey, there we go. Yeah. This trip is coming to an end. We're leaving Spanish Wells right now. Had a lot of fun. Had one epic day of spearfish, another good day of spearfishing. Caught a few bonefish on the flats. I didn't, but Charlie and Sarah did. But it's time to get back home, get back to work. Got some chargers to do. And uh, lobster season's coming up, so Sarah's gonna be doing that. All of us are gonna be doing it together, actually. Franker, John, Charlie. So we'll be lobstering, but it was a good time. Nobody killed each other, and that's always a better thing, so uh, it's time to get going. We got our pepper things in the box and we're headed back. of the Bahamas series. We just ran uh, about 252 miles coming back home. Made pretty good time and uh, 345. So we're gonna get her tied up, cleaned up and uh, we'll get back to work here soon. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. Everybody's still friends talking to each other. Jenna had a lot of fun <laughs> right home. And uh, we're gonna get, uh, get everything up the boat here soon. Oh, no. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs>